There are some insane rules in golf, like, did you know that players can get penalized for their own caddy standing in the wrong place? Or that it's illegal to have a club with a non-conforming groove pattern? And don't even get me started on the weird penalties for having too many clubs in your bag. These are 15 golf rules you didn't know existed. And first, what if I told you that golf has a rule that's going to drive players crazy? Boring! This is Ian Woosnam, a former world number one golfer and masters champion who found out the hard way that one extra club can cost you dearly. In the 2001 British Open, Woosnam was ready to make a serious run at the title. The man was in top form, but then disaster struck. Just as he was about to tee off on the second hole, his caddy noticed an extra club in the bag. That's a big no-no in golf, where the rules strictly limit players to carrying no more than 14 clubs. Woosnam had 15. The penalty for this infraction, a brutal two-stroke penalty. That mistake ended up costing him dearly, knocking him out of contention. But that's not as crazy as this next rule involving golf balls. In 2019, a European tour player named Eduardo Molinari got penalized for something most of us wouldn't even think about. During a tournament, he found out that the rule book actually penalizes players if their golf ball moves after being addressed, even if it's because of wind or gravity. Molinari had carefully lined up his putt, stepped back to get a better look, and just as he was about to strike, the ball moved slightly. The wind had done it, but the rules didn't care. He had to take a penalty stroke. Talk about bad luck. Now, you probably didn't know that in golf, it's illegal to give advice to your fellow competitors. This rule can be particularly tricky because it can feel natural to offer a tip or comment on another player's shot. But according to Rule 10.2, giving advice is strictly forbidden. And if caught, both the giver and the receiver of the advice can be penalized. In 2019, during the U.S. Women's Open, golfer Carlotta Saganda was penalized for just this reason. She had casually chatted with her fellow competitor and, bam, two-stroke penalty. And speaking of weird rules, did you know that you can get disqualified for starting a hole with a wrong ball? It sounds simple enough to avoid, but it's more common than you might think. At the 2013 Masters, Guan Tianlang, a 14-year-old prodigy from China, was nearly disqualified for slow play, but he also had to be careful about not accidentally picking up another player's ball. If you tee off with the wrong ball, you're toast disqualified on the spot. But the oddities don't stop there. Let's talk about sand traps. In most sports, you'd think the rules would help you out in tough situations, but not in golf. If your ball lands in a bunker, you're not allowed to touch the sand with your club before your shot. That's right, no grounding the club, no testing the sand, nothing. In 2010, Dustin Johnson learned this the hard way at the PGA Championship. He grounded his club in what he thought was a trampled down piece of ground, but was ruled to be a bunker. The result, a two-stroke penalty that cost him a spot in a playoff for the championship. And then, there's the rule about water hazards. If your ball lands in a water hazard, you have to drop it within two club lengths of where it crossed the hazard, not where it landed. This rule has caused many a golfer to scratch their head. In 2013, Tiger Woods hit a perfect shot at the Masters that landed just a few feet from the hole but bounced into the water. Following the rules, he dropped his ball in the wrong spot and got penalized, leading to a massive controversy. Another rule that's bound to surprise you is the one about replacing a damaged club. If a club is damaged during the normal course of play, you're out of luck, you can't replace it. In 2018, Zach Johnson broke his driver during the second round of the Masters. He had to play the rest of the round without it, severely impacting his game. Imagine trying to play golf without your favorite driver. Did you know that if your ball hits you, your caddy, or your equipment, you're penalized? It's true. In 2012, Webb Simpson's ball hit his own putter after he missed a putt, and he had to take a penalty stroke. 
It's like golf has a rule for everything, even the most unlikely scenarios. But here's a rule that's truly bizarre. In golf, if you take too long to play a shot, you can be penalized. This happened to J.B. Holmes in 2018 when he took over four minutes to play a shot at the Farmers Insurance Open. He didn't get penalized that time, but the outrage from fans and fellow players was intense. The rules state that players should play without undue delay and should be penalized if they don't. And if you think those rules are strange, wait until you hear this one. In the US, it's illegal for golfers to use a distance measuring device that provides information on slope and elevation changes. In 2016, the USGA ruled that such devices give players an unfair advantage. So if you're caught using one in a tournament, you're looking at a hefty penalty. Golf's dress code is another area filled with peculiar rules. For instance, players are required to wear specific types of clothing. In 2013, PGA Tour player Ricky Fowler was criticized for wearing all orange his signature look. While it wasn't against the rules, it caused such a stir that some tournaments considered enforcing stricter dress codes. Imagine getting penalized for your fashion choices. And speaking of penalties, how about the rule that penalizes you for repairing spike marks on the green? This used to be a big issue until the rule was changed in 2019. Before that, players couldn't repair spike marks, which could affect their putts. Tiger Woods famously complained about this rule, arguing that it was unfair and cost players strokes. But the strangest rule of all might be the one about artificial devices and unusual equipment. In 2010, Phil Mickelson was almost disqualified for using a club that was designed to help him improve his putting stance. The club had a special hinge that was ruled illegal by the USGA. Mickelson had to stop using it immediately or he would have faced a penalty. Golf even has rules about the type of shoes you wear. In 2011, a female golfer named Paige Spiranak got into trouble for wearing shoes with soft spikes that were considered too aggressive for the course she was playing on. She was forced to change her shoes or be disqualified. It's amazing how detailed and strict golf's rules can be. Then there's the rule about taking practice swings. You might think it's no big deal, but in golf, you can't take a practice swing that touches the sand in a bunker or hazard. In 2007, Michelle Wee was penalized for this during the Samsung World Championship. She took a practice swing in a bunker, touched the sand, and received a penalty stroke. It seems like golf's rules are designed to catch you off guard at every turn. And finally, there's the rule that penalizes you if your ball hits an animal. In 2014, during the John Deere Classic, Andrew Loop hit a shot that struck a bird. According to the rules, he had to play the ball from where it lay, even though it had ricocheted off the bird and landed in an unfavorable spot. Nature is unpredictable, but in golf, the rules remain strict no matter what. So there you have it, 15 golf rules you didn't know existed. From penalties for extra clubs to rules about hitting animals, golf has some of the most detailed and unusual regulations in all of sports. Whether you're a casual player or a pro, these rules can catch you by surprise and sometimes even cost you the game. But hey, that's what makes golf so fascinating and challenging. Keep these rules in mind the next time you hit the links, and maybe you'll avoid some of these crazy penalties.